at DevOps Belgium, and I'm here with Alexi, who's, um, well, most of you will know him very well as performance expert. And so you're giving a talk about a new garbage collection that you want people to adopt. Yes. Shenandoah. Right. Yeah, that's right. Um, we are developing it in Red Hat for the uh, simple goal to target large heaps or any other workloads that exhibits um, GC poses that people do not like. One of the major things that Shenandoah does, it does concurrent compaction. So if you look at the spectrum of OpenGDK GCs, you will notice that there is the shift from the completely stop the world GCs to more concurrent ones. J1, for instance, is the good stepping stone to that, and it does concurrent mark concurrently, and it solves the large pose, uh, part of the GC pose. Uh, but there's the second part, which is actually relocating the objects and fixing the heap pointers after you relocated it. And this is where Shenandoah comes in. It solves that second part of the GC puzzle. Um, when you solve both of them, uh, you realize that your GC poses at that point are not dependent on the heap size anymore. They are dependent on the root set size, but that's usually much, much smaller than the active heap size. And so you are able to pull off very nice GC poses uh, the GC poses that are not attainable with the current OpenGDK collector in every scenario. OK, so we have um, much, much smaller garbage collections more frequently? Uh, we have smaller GC poses, yes. We still have concurrent GC phases that are run, but application is not stopped at that point. So. Uh, it might run slower because it's still the same hardware and GC also needs cycles to run. But at least it's not stop the world event that you stop the application and it has to wait for five seconds until GC comes to its senses and gives up some of the heap. Um, it's not like that. Most of the phases are, most heavyweight phases are concurrent. And where is it in development? Is it ready to go? Um, we are developing, developing it as the OpenGDK project. And so we are targeting GDK 10, as it is now. Probably with the release LTSs, um, we will target, what's it called right now, Java 11, I guess. Yep. Um, so there is the lots of integration work going on in the upstream to fit this collector. For instance, we have uh, incepted and we helped to develop the GC interface, which makes plugging in new GCs to the hotspot easy. Um, after that is in uh, hotspot, plugging in Shenandoah would be a piece of cake. Um, but as Red Hat, as the owners of one of the major OpenGDK distribution channels, we also distribute downstream builds. And our downstream builds in Fedora and RHEL uh, today include Shenandoah. So if you have Shen Fedora on your laptop, um, and you have the OpenGDK build installed there, you can just enable it and it will work. Um, and so many derivatives from RHEL are also including Shenandoah in this regard. For example, Amazon Linux, if you install Java 8 there, it, it defaults to Java 7 right now, I think, but if you install Java 8 and update alternatives to it, you still have Shenandoah there. So it's not product ready yet, but it is in better quality. So if you are, um, if you think that this GC would be a solution to your performance problems, it is a good idea to try right now. And luckily, there are ways to try it right now without messing with turbos or something like that. It might come with your OpenGDK build right now on your system. Thank you very much. <laughs>